be looking at the Mater Amabilis Catholic Charlotte Mason curriculum website. This is just a brief tour so that you can see some of the resources included on the site. So this is the home page. We have Mater Amabilis. We have a heading across the top where you can easily get to different levels and subjects. But first I'd like to show you where you can find the introduction. If you click start here, there is an introduction to the Charlotte Mason method and Mater Amabilis in specific. If you scroll down here just a tad, you'll also find a getting started guide, which is a six page PDF with a lot of tips for getting started with Mater Amabilis. This guide is also found on the sidebar. And on the sidebar, you will also find a link to our Facebook group and some other helpful resources. I'd like to show you back onto the main page where you can see an overview of each level. So if I click overview up here, we have a brief outline of each level and what is included at the preparatory level, pre-K kinder, level 1B, which in, is first grade in the United States and year two in the UK. Level 1A, which is a two year level covering ages seven to nine. Level two, ages nine to 11. Level three, level four, which are our middle school levels if you're in the United States. And then level five is high school, five and six. So level five and six are linked here. And this gives you a brief outline of, again, what is covered subject-wise and skill-wise in each level. If I go back up to the top, I can click on level 1A. And we see a landing page for level 1A, which is a two-year level. So I'm going to give you a little tour of what is included in each level. First of all, we have a outline over here of the general idea of the level and the ages it covers, a discussion of how long the lesson will last at each level, and then here's the meat. The meat and potatoes of this level is the syllabus. The syllabus gives you all the guides, all the instructions of what you're reading, what books are used, and what topics are covered, what skills are needed in level 1A. Below that we have the resources. These are additional lesson plans, study guides, which give detailed breakdowns of various subjects, including for every year, the science, geography, and the history will have a lesson breakdown over here. These pages are also found within the syllabus. So if I click on the syllabus, just give you a brief look at it. Again, gives you what are the key curriculum each subject has various topics and aspects. Religion includes, for example, New Testament and one main key text, catechism, saints, Advent readings, Lent readings, and Easter readings, so liturgical year readings. And again, each topic for religion has its own book. Math, we suggest you use a program of your choice, but there's additional resources listed. English includes reading, writing, and grammar. And then we have literature. Again, each key text is listed. I'd like to show you when you get down to history, again, those resource pages I mentioned and study guides are all embedded within the syllabus. And the syllabus includes all the details of what you need to do as far as reading and narration, etc. So again, if I scroll down to geography, when I get down to geography, I'm going to see three topics, peoples and places, maps and landforms, and weather. And again, we have schedules of lessons. So scrolling all the way down to the bottom of the syllabus, you will find a helpful sample schedule as well as a 36 week chart. The outline and sample schedule is simply an outline of the level, how many days a week you read that, read from those books, 
and the topics of that level, as well as a week sample breakdown for, in this case, second grade or level 1A year one. So one way that you could take that level and break it down over the week, but of course, you're free to divide it out in any way you wish. In addition to the sample schedule and outline, there's also a 36 week chart, which gives you all the breakdowns from the lesson plans, as well as some additional breakdowns for subjects that don't have their own pages by week for the 36 weeks of the year. This is really just a outline in a sense, or a skeleton so that you can use it week to week. But again, the main details are of course found in the syllabus with links to books, etc. Going back to the main page, just want to highlight that the high school plans are organized a little bit differently. In the high school plans, we have subject plans. And if you click on any subject, such as religion, you have a breakdown by year of the readings. And then within there, there is also a lesson plan. So here's level five, year one, which would be ninth grade. Year two, level six, year one, which is 11th grade. And level six, year two, which is 12th. But if I click on lesson plan, now we have a day by day plan for the student of readings, alternating the different scheduled readings for all four years. And there's similar resources for history, English, geography, and civics. One more thing to look at is that if we go to subjects, we have some overviews of each subject. These are also included in the start here introduction. So in the introduction, you have some resource pages if you scroll down, including a language arts overview, geography and earth studies overview, science, how to do nature study, how to do picture study, for example. So we have how to do picture study, how you would arrange a picture study lesson or approach the topic, and then also a all level resource so that you can look at a quick glance at what books and resources are suggested for each level in which artists are studied. There's a similar resource for music appreciation as well. Again, join the Facebook group. You can find a link on the sidebar. We look forward to answering any questions you have within the group. Thank you.